All right, got a cool review for you guys. And these are the CP series, custom crankbaits. Got these off of uh, Tackle Warehouse. They are homemade baits made by Chris Powers. All right, on the back here, I have the case of the other one. I'll show you if you want to read the back. Tells a little bit about what he does and how he makes them. If I can get to focus. Here we go. Just want how each one is handcrafted. If this, if this doesn't make you catch more fish, and we'll buy it back. And you can get these from cpbaits.com or Tech Warehouse, which is where I got mine. I'll show this one to you right here. I got these, well, first of all, it comes in three series. The first series is pretty much, and they all have the same, they all have the same body, just different bills and the way they're positioned. Um, the first series is pretty much like a rattle trap. It's made to cover flats, move a lot of water. Uh, it seems to be what a lot of the pros are actually using whenever I've heard of them actually fishing some of these baits. They use they use just a one mainly just to cover water and find fish. And the Series 2 is made for actually coming through cover. It's practically the exact same bill, same depth, just about 2 to 5. I mean, the one the one is 2 to 5, and then the Series 2 is like 3 to 7. So it really isn't much difference. I think this one just goes a little bit deeper. Um... And then the Series 3 is pretty much a deep diver is all that is. Just a longer bill. And that goes, I think, to the maximum of like 11 feet. So these are balsa wood crankbaits. Um, really nice. I mean, you can obviously tell they're, they're handmade. I'll open up this one for you. That's in a sexy shade color. It's got the light blue top on it, but it's not showing up in the camera, I believe. But, uh, yeah. I'll show you this one. You can, have, you can really tell on this one that it's a homemade bait. But uh, this is pretty much what your case is going to look like. And then this is... This one's in like a Tennessee shad, which he calls a silver shad. Uh, it's just got the black top and then the silver body. It's a great, great shad color. I like this color a lot. Just for throwing anything. Uh, let me show you right here. This is what I'm talking about. See, if you can see... It's got the wood grain. Oh, come on, it's focusing. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Ah, anyway, right here it's got the, uh, like what it'd look like if you, there we go. If you were cutting wood, you know, it's got the little shavings on it. There it is right there. There's a little piece of wood. I'm surprised that's there. I don't think it's going to affect it at all, so I'm not really going to worry about it. And there's just like little minor things on here, so I mean, nothing. I think of great deal, but you can obviously tell these are homemade baits, which which really really good, you know, makes me excited to throw these things. It's winter, so I haven't got a chance to throw them, but I am excited to. I actually might get a, get a chance to throw these this weekend at a cooling lake. But I mean, besides that, I if I don't throw it there, I'll be throwing them probably in about a month, hopefully, hopefully in a couple of weeks. We get some really warm weather. But uh, there you guys go. There you guys go. I mean, I. Did not see any reviews on these, and I'm not usually a big review guy, but uh, I thought, you know, nobody else has one. I might as well make one because obviously I can tell people are going to start buying these a lot more. Not her, I'm not sure how long they've been available at Tackle Warehouse, but I mean, I know if he's selling them on there now that they're going to they're gonna get popular really quick. Uh, for 15 bucks, not a bad buy. And as long as you're throwing it on the right tackle, you're probably not going to lose these things. I mean, I'm not sure how well they get snagged. Uh, probably another question people were wondering is hooks. How, what kind of hooks do these come on? They look like the exact same as like the same ones you get on a like a spook, but they're not the TX3s, and they are sticky sharp. I would throw these right away. But if you're one of those people that throw like owner hooks, you know, just out of every one you you take a bait and you just t stick owner hooks or kamikazes on it. These obviously aren't the ones you're looking for. But uh, I will I'll probably fish these things right away unless for some reason they give me some problems and I'll just change them. But yeah, I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use those hooks right right away. Uh, like I said, it's a nice bait. Uh, bills. This one kind of seems to be a little off center, just a little. I'm not sure how well much it's gonna affect the bait, but we'll see. And then this one looks to be just dead on. Like said, these are these are nice. These are really nice colors. Did a really nice job on them. I'm sorry for the little light conditions. So. I'll, get ready, I'll just get ready to wrap this up. I'm just going to show you a really close view on each one of these. And then I'll end this video. 
And you can see like the grain of wood on this. It's pretty it's pretty neat. Uh, the like epoxy and the finish he's got on this is really nice. It's not super thick at all, so but it's it, it'll hold up for sure. It's got the cool little eyes on there. All right, there's a the little grain I was talking about. But yeah, overall these are some this is a really nice paints. Uh, so you can get these for 15 bucks at Tackle Warehouse and then 15 dollars if you buy them from his website. Uh, I'm not sure how much really shipping would cost on his website. I mean, he ships these things out in Connecticut, maybe I believe. I'm not sure, but yeah, so I'm not sure how much the shipping will cost either way. I know Tackle Warehouse usually has really good shipping deals, so and they're almost. I think they're on back order now. So there you guys go. Cool look at some of these really nice baits, and I'll catch you later.